Good morning uh, from Nicosia, Cyprus. This is uh, Chef Andros Karalambos. Yesterday I uploaded um, uh, two videos uh, about the snails. Um, and um, I had, um, uh, from the first uh, few moments, uh, comments and uh, uh, questions about the snails. So I decided to make a new video today and um, let you know more about snails. Uh, now, it uh, so happens that um, uh, when we were running our own restaurant um, uh, in Nicosia, uh, the first uh, 20 years that my father was running the restaurant, uh, the snails were um, the main speciality of the, uh, of the business. And um, during these uh, 20 years, uh, these first 20 years, we must have uh, consumed um, um, uh, let's say um, uh, 20 tons uh, of snails. Uh, they were very popular, it was the main um, uh, specialty. So um, at the time we used to have also a very small snail farm. So we managed to learn more about the life of the snails. Um, so uh, what I want to show you today is how to uh, how to know, how to recognize uh, if the snails are um, uh, suitable uh, for consumption. <clears throat> so, I will show you my snails. So, when I bought my snails um, uh, yesterday, I, I didn't buy many, I just bought a few uh, for home uh, consumption with my children. And uh, what I did, I washed them because they were very, very dirty. Uh, they were covered in their own feces. Um, so what, what, what I did, uh, I washed them thoroughly with uh, cold water so that all the feces were uh, removed uh, from their uh, shells. So you can see that uh, all the snails now, they are very clean. Uh, although you can, uh, you can notice at least I can notice uh, some more feces uh, here and there, but at least they are not um, uh, stuck to the, to the snail shell. So, uh, how to recognize if the snail is safe to cook? It has to look like this. So, this snail, uh, as you can see, you can see a hole. That hole is where, where uh, he or she, actually they are hermaphrodites, it's not he or she, it is it. Uh, it is uh, breathing uh, through the hole that you are looking at. And these are sleeping snails. Uh, sometimes you can uh, see uh, a, a white filter, a white paper that covers uh, the shell. And that is to protect uh, the snail um, uh, from uh, insects. Uh, and other factors. But um, uh, right now what you see is sleeping snails and these are alive and they are very very safe to eat. So when you see the snails stuck uh, onto a surface and you can see now I will turn them this, uh, this box on a vertical um, a position and you can see that um, the snails do not uh, fall off because they are stuck onto a surface. I will turn it. Actually, they were um, uh, they were covering uh, this um, bucket where I placed um, a linen uh, potato sack so that they can breathe. And uh, I didn't want them uh, to be um, uh, swimming in their own slime. Um, so. These are these snails. They are ready, ready to cook. They didn't have anything to eat uh, the last uh, week, so uh, most of the feces they have been removed. I washed them. You see, one of them is trying to escape. So this is a, a snail ready to be cooked. And um, uh, in the next days I will uh, cook this snail that, that you see here uh, in, uh, in, in various ways. 
so that uh, you know how to how to treat them. This is a very uh, nice delicacy, and uh, this kind of uh, of snail, these brown snails, they are very popular in uh, in Europe and in France, uh, especially they make the escargot bourguignon. Um, which is, uh, this is one of the recipes that I will show you in the next days. Uh, so these, uh, these snails are not huge. Um, uh, they are probably three or four years old. And, uh, well, they are, of course, um, a good size. You can compare with, with my finger. So they are not that small, they are not that large, but uh, they are very tender. Um, the ones that I cooked to yes, yesterday into my savory stew, uh, they were cooking for, uh, for about totally uh, 50 minutes. So, so I, I cooked them for 10 minutes and then they were simmering for 40 more minutes until the uh, sauce was, um, was thick enough. Uh, and they were delicious, so we, we tried them. So when you buy your snails, you have to wash them in cold water. Uh, you have to rinse them uh, thoroughly. Uh, then you, you can place them in a clean environment, like uh, this uh, linen uh, uh, sack that um, that uh, I had, uh, that I have specially uh, for for the snails. You see, in a very clean environment, they can last uh, for many many months uh, without any food. Uh, all you have to do is to soak them in cold water until they start uh, walking like he is uh, walking now, he is trying to go away, and, um, and that's it. So, uh, this is uh, the proper way of uh, preserving your snails at home. They have to be clean from the beginning. Um, so, in the, uh, in the next uh, minutes, I, I will put these uh, snails back into the, into the bucket. And actually, I was using this, um, this box as a lid. Uh, to my bucket. So this is why you have seen that uh, they try to stick onto a surface and uh, I believe that in the next days all of the snails they will climb up and uh, go on top of these ones and um, uh, sleep for the next month uh, until uh, uh, I will decide to cook them. So thank you very much for watching. This is uh, Chef Andros Karalambos. Uh, it was just a few tips uh, about the snails. Um, so, this is the way uh, to keep them safely. You put them in a bucket, but the, but, but, but the linen is not touching on the bottom of the bucket. Uh, I really want a clean and dry environment so that they will stick and they will sleep and they will stay there um, um, for some time until uh, they are ready to be cooked. So, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye um, from Nicosia Cyprus. This is Andros.